Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Okay, this, this debriefing is for the lecture and also for the, the task of your first lab for synchronous machine reference. Nah? Okay, for synchronous generator, we're going to test their performance and to measure their parameters based on measuring techniques that we're going to perform on the DC test and on the open circuit characteristic and short circuit characteristic and so we're going to perform the test to investigate performance of our synchronous generator okay the behavior of the real synchronous generator we depend on the relationship between field current and flux field current and also the generated internal generated voltage ea and the flux and the also internal generated the expected ea <coughs> it will also depend on the value of synchronous reactance xs and depends on the resistance of ra <coughs> so if we the reconductance can be determined by using open circuit <coughs> test OCC and also SCC short circuit test. So if you take a look at the diagram of this three phase Y connected synchronous uh, machine or generator, so the output of the current will follow or will flow throughout this single phase uh, circuit combined three phase here, output into the uh, output terminal using this uh, circuit we refer here as i line i phase combined become i line and v phase here and v line are at the same this is delta sorry not y delta so v phase v line the same i phase i line it was a combination lah. so this is for delta then if we look at the y connected uh, arrangement so this is how it's like huh? so we shall measure the terminal voltage which is the v terminal uh squared three times v phase v terminal is higher compared to v phase meanwhile i terminal is at the same level or same value per phase see i phase come out become i terminal or i line okay now then we should perform the DC test. There are three tests to be conducted. One is short circuit, one is open circuit, one is DC test. So what is the DC test? So the DC test is to determine the RA of the variable at variable DC voltage. We shall perform or we shall include test here to measure is what? is the RA value of the components. We have phase 1, phase 2, phase 3. By right, each of these phase, they are consisting or comes with the same value to make it equivalent or balanced. Huh? So RA, we measure one part to represent all the other parts huh? using variable DC source. So the DC source to be connected from neutral to end of the uh, end of your terminal and you vary their voltage, uh, voltage level and measure the current so you just use the V equal to IR home floor equation lah. so this is DC source adjusted to provide approximate rated scatter current yes, that you provide DC throughout this uh, resistor you shall you are able to measure the current. The resistance between the two stator leads determined from the voltmeter and emitter readings. Huh? Uh, so you measure their readings using emitter, the current reading. Huh? Then the value of resistors, resistor here can calculate by dividing that measured I DC divide from the voltage that you apply. And so for Y connected 
uh, the uh, Y connection here. The stator per phase resistance is equal to RDC divided by 2. Because if you measure from here to here, so it divide by 2. Lah. And if you measure from here to to the middle point, just divide by 1. Okay. But for delta connected, and delta connected, so the connection is uh, on the delta on the delta just now and on the delta you can see that you have to divide by you have to multiply by 3 divide by 2 <coughs> multiply by 3 divide by 2 that is the value of your RA because the arrangement is like this okay, just now the arrangement just in series the connection in series okay then for open circuit open circuit test open circuit characteristic and open circuit characteristic what you have to do is that what you have to do is that you have to run the machine at zero load open circuit zero load means that you run the generator at rated speed uh, set the one rated speed and means that every motor they have rated speed you just Disconnect from load, open circuit. I feel set to zero. I feel set to zero. Then varies up to B terminal. Sorry, varies the I feel from zero up to certain values which indicate inside the table. So I feel set to zero, then increase up to this value so from zero or from lower up to higher yes no? so how to uh, re, uh, how to increase or decrease how to adjust the field current by adjusting field voltage so we have set from 10 up to 100 how to make it open circuit so you arrange the circuit such that you run the motor and your generator here you run the generator at rated speed. You set the motor, DC motor at certain certain speed. Then you turn the shaft and switch on the circuit. And switch on the circuit. You measure how much the current, how much the voltage. By right, where there is no current, no load being attached, the drawing current is zero. Huh? And when there is an open circuit, so by right, the voltage output is equivalent per what generated inside our internal generated voltage okay so this is the arrangement of your circuit open circuit test you adjust your field current then you record your field voltage and by right by right when you plot your graph you should get this kind of uh, what's it called linear response and up to certain values when the motor is saturated you I will come into this kind of curve open circuit characteristic increase IF in ampere this is generated EA or minimum voltage that you measure and it also will increase then the short circuit test the short circuit test short circuit test means that if you set your field from uh, zero again you short circuit your terminal output terminal is short circuit you increase your IF and take a look what happened to your IA how much IA delivered you increase your IF from 0 up to maximum so try to measure what happened to IA so for short circuit test what you have to do is that you have to compose this circuit the same circuit like above you run the system and you set that these uh, pulses and these pulses to switch on or to connect the circuit to imitate the short circuit event then only that, at that event you can measure how much the current that flow inside the short circuit short circuited uh, line versus the voltage that measured here by right the voltage measured as zero lah because your short circuit kan and the current is at rated or maximum uh, values uh, so 
every time you change the parameter here and like what you have uh, performed previously you change this value you change field voltage then you try to figure out what is the reading of your current so by that you cannot short circuit forever that's why we, we put here pulses and the, the pulses here we put from 3.9 to 5 seconds and we follow the the formation here or the instruction here so you try to figure out how much the current that being uh, read at certain certain uh, setting and certain certain setting let's say you set at one two three four five so how much actually the reading of ia at that time so you plot the graph it should become a linear response as well and previously we have a linear then it comes into separation but now just a linear response and by right for this short circuit test it's not preferable or not encouraged to be performed on site lah. but for to verify our design it can be tested on the prototype model however in simulation it can be done lah. and to represent short circuit and open circuit test okay from the two graph that you have uh, generated just now so you combine into one uh, you overlap into one uh, figure or layout so short circuit graph with the same uh, IF that you charted open circuit test also so now from the I rated value that being uh, highlighted on the certain certain motto so you uh, make a, <coughs> a reference line to find out what are your IF rated field current and from this also you can see is what are the rated internal generated voltage e open circuit and rated and field current rated and from this uh, from the curve that you have generated from i rated you get i field rated and rated what so called open circuit uh, internal generated voltage and from there you can have your or you can calculate estimate your zs and uh, impedance uh, series uh, impedance dividing ea over ia or ea open circuit divided by ia short circuit rated short circuit current and rated short circuit current uh, e open circuit rated voltage divided by ia short circuit current and also you can compare with the this ZS with the XS that you measured uh, plus RA square circuit kind. so you can dapat lebih kurang sama ZS itu pakai calculated parameter dengan other parameter that you calculate set your lab okay. okay that's how to determine the parameters of our synchronous machine and by using SSC, SCC curve and also open circuit test curve and SCC, OCC. Okay, thank you very much. And hopefully the lab can assist you all in understanding the concept and the performance of our machine. So discuss accordingly, all the, the, the put in all the table, discuss accordingly what you fine in term of the effect figure and trend okay assalamualaikum warahmatullahi